As we've been reporting, cases of the flu are on the rise both here and around the country. California, for example, could be on track for the worst flu season in a decade. Now here in Monroe County, latest numbers are in up to January 6th. There have been three adult flu related deaths, 916 confirmed cases of the flu, 278 hospitalizations because of the virus. Our news reporter Christina Dominguez has been following this latest development for us. She joins us now from our newsroom with more on that. Christina. Hi, Casey. Well, as you see in those numbers, three deaths, hundreds more sick with the flu. You know, many of those patients have been crowding emergency departments and hospitals, and doctors expect that we may not have seen the worst of it yet. Around the time that we see that it reaches a high prevalence, and we anticipate that this will probably stay like this for the next coming weeks. Our GH infectious disease specialist, Dr. Mary Rose Leguio Vila, says that as of last week, of all the flu tests done at our GH this season, 20% have come back positive. She says those numbers are already higher than last year's. Now, many of those patients and those with other respiratory illnesses are crowding emergency departments. And as I said, things might only get worse. Doctors say we have yet to hit the peak of the season. So if you suspect that you have the flu, when should you go to the hospital? Well, Dr. Laguia Vila says that it depends on your medical condition. Predominantly, what makes people very sick from the flu is if they have other, other underlying medical conditions. If they have chronic lung conditions like asthma, emphysema, COPD, or if they have heart conditions like congestive heart failure. These are the people who are at higher risk of having complications of the flu. I think when it comes to deciding where to go, I think it's a good call to start by calling your primary physician because your primary physician often one knows you very well knows if you have any of those underlying conditions which make you at more risk of having complications of the flu and often they'll be able to see you um, if they come to the emergency department we try and have people who really have severe uh, conditions such as it's very difficult for them to breathe or they have very high fevers in case you know, we've always heard that, you know, if you don't have those severe symptoms, you should just stay home uh, and not spread the virus. That is true. They recommend that you do stay home so that you don't get colleagues at work or other um, classmates at school sick. But that doesn't mean that you should not be treated. And that's why they recommend that you do speak to a doctor. They're very um, effective flu medications out there that could help reduce some of your symptoms. And the CDC also continues to recommend, Casey, that you still get vaccinated if you haven't been already. Casey. Right, important information there. Christina Dominguez in our newsroom tonight. Christina, thank you.